Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to take a look at This Week at Bungie for the 3rd of September and we're going to go through all the information from beginning to end and we're going to just cover every single thing. So if you go on to enjoy this video be sure to drop a like and uh, let's go ahead and start reading. Alright, so it says, We are well into the final week of Solstice of Heroes. Finish upgrading your armor before the event ends within the weekly reset on September 8th. If you still need to finish any of the objectives required to unlock the White Glows, you can continue to knock those out even after the event is over. Last week we began to serve up some new information on Stasis, starting with a new trailer, and this week we dug a bit deeper into the Warlock Shadebinder and Titan Behemoth subclasses. There's a lot of good info in there about how Stasis is going to shake up combat in Destiny this fall. You may be wondering, what about Hunters? Don't worry, we are saving the best for last and you can read more about the Hunter Revenant subclass on September 8th. Being a Hunter main myself, I can't wait to see what this new Revenant subclass is all about. In the next paragraph they say, A few weeks ago we shared some more details about the Destiny Content Vault. We mentioned that you should start finishing off any triumphs associated with that content that is going into the Vault. But we didn't go into any details on how seals and titles would be affected. Separate from the DCV, we have plans to rework Triumphs, and the Destiny dev team is here to share what they have planned. And the Destiny dev team goes on to say, Hello Destiny community, we're sure you have tons of questions about Triumphs, particularly what happens to Triumphs once the content associated with them goes into the Destiny content vault. We're updating the Triumphs and how they will work moving forward, and want to walk you through how everything will start looking on November 10th. First, the goals. Provide pursuits for all players. Provide seasonal pursuits that match each season of Destiny. Provide destination pursuits for each new destination in Destiny. Ensure everybody can show off their accomplishments. Make all Triumphs have a score. And make sure it's clear what happens when content goes into the DCV. Hopefully this write-up will answer your questions and lead to more discussion going forward. First, they have an evolving world. We touched on this subject the last time we talked to you about Triumphs. It's critical to us that there are challenging triumphs each season and that only the most dedicated among you earn them all and hit the max score. At the same time, it's also important that even the freshest Kindergarten has the same chance to climb that mountain no matter when they join the Destiny community, given of course that they put in the time and dedication for the content that's available to them. For Shadowkeep and the base Destiny 2 experience, we tried to do this by combing through each triumph individually, looking to see if it was still achievable and then taking the score away from any triumph that could no longer be earned. While it achieved most of our goals, it didn't give you the ability to plan your attack to earn absolutely everything you wanted, and there wasn't a good predictor on when things would go away. For us to hit our goals, we knew that we needed to make some changes with how we are delivering triumphs to players. An evolving set of triumphs for an evolving world. So what are we going to do? Reorganize triumphs to make them more compatible with our evolving world. Create a career score that represents the totality of what you've done in Destiny 2. Create an active score for the things that can be done in the live game. Focus our generic triumphs into a leaner lifetime set that covers the basics of being a guardian. Organize the rest of the triumphs around seasons and destinations. Track the history of what you've done as legacy triumphs. Beyond Light will include a set of triumphs that target this year's destination, Europa. These triumphs all have score. They include the content on the destination, story missions, strikes, raid, lost sectors, and yes, even some secrets. There will be a set of triumphs that target Season 12's content. The triumphs will all have score. We like the pattern of rewarding seasonal currency for completing these triumphs, and will continue to do so. These triumphs will stick around for as long as the seasonal content does. While active, seasonal triumph score will still contribute to your active score. When the seasonal content is no longer available, the seasonal set moves under Legacy Triumphs. They no longer contribute to your active score, they will still contribute to your career score. The lifetime set will be about teaching players all the things you can do in Destiny. These will mostly target new players as they join our ranks. They will focus on helping players explore Destiny's sandbox and game modes. If new systems are added to the game, this pool will grow. And then Bungie gives us a screenshot of what that will look like. And it looks like they've moved the metals, catalysts, and lore off into their own sections, but they said that they will touch on that later. For this year, in-game, we'll remember your total triumph score and display it on the updated triumph screen. In-game, we'll remember every single triumph that contributed to a seal and display them under Legacy Triumphs. In-game, we'll let you browse through the seals under Legacy Triumphs. You'll be able to equip the titles you've earned going forward. We'll have a demonstration set targeting the Leviathan that shows how this works. 
We've stored the completion state of every triumph you finished or not, even for triumphs no longer displayed in game. Work is ongoing to flesh out the categories those triumphs live in. Going forward, when content moves to the Destiny Content Vault, triumph sets that are no longer earnable will become legacy triumphs. Legacy triumphs will contribute to your career score, but not your active score. What about the things that can still be earned after November 10th? We'll break out the Luna, Dreaming City, Tangled Shore, EDZ, and Nessus Triumphs into their own destination sets, and keep them available and contributing to your active Triumph score. We'll move any of your progress into any Triumph that still exists. In some cases, we've reduced the size of Triumph sets to make this easier to understand for new players. Gambit, Crucible, and Vanguard. In other words, we've increased the size of the set and added rewards. Does this mean some seals may no longer be earnable? Yes, with a bunch of content going into the DCV, there are seals and their corresponding titles that will no longer be earnable when Beyond Light is released. These seals will still be earnable in Beyond Light. Unbroken, Dredgen, Flawless, Conqueror, Harbinger, Enlightened, Cursebreaker, Rivensbane, whatever Beyond Light seal is, and Season 12, and another seal I guess. And then the seals that will no longer be attainable are the Shadow, Reckoner, Blacksmith, Wayfarer, Chronicle, and Season 5-11 through 11 titles. In the next paragraph, Bungie talks about the Metals, Catalysts, and lore moving a little bit more. They say, Metals and Catalysts will now have their own sections to make them more visible and easier to keep track of. Lore will also have its own section and a brand new UI to show off the book covers and improve the reading experience. All lore up through Season of Arrivals will be available to all players. The game will still show how many of the pages you've earned, but everyone will be able to read everything now. So if you want to see X out of X pages earned, go earn any missing lore pages before the end of the season as well. New lore will be unlocked through Triumphs going forward and eventually made available to everyone when they become Legacy Triumphs. Well there you go. We know it's a lot to absorb, but we think this moves us much closer to our goals of providing interesting and compelling pursuits season over season and year over year while letting everyone participate. Please share any questions or feedback you have on the new Triumph plan in all the usual places. Now guys, that is a ton of information, but very good information if you're curious on what exactly you need to do before Beyond Light launches and Season 12 begins. Like I said, that's a whole lot of information. Also, just a little bit of a side note, Iron Banner does begin on September 8th at 10 a.m. So if you're looking to play Iron Banner, I know I'm not, uh, that's going to be the day that it begins. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like on the video if you found it useful, and I will see you all next time.